Fantastic, we are almost there. We have our applications ready. Now let's see how we can deploy them, either on the AppMaster Cloud or on third-party clouds, such as AWS, Azure, or Google Cloud. We'll also see how we can monitor our application performance. Here are the things that we'll cover during this lesson. We'll first talk about deployment configuration and the different settings that we can apply there. We'll then have a look at the statistic dashboard to monitor the performance of our application. We'll also see Swagger and how our system automatically generates API documentation for your application. We'll also see how we can export binaries and source code of your application. Finally, we'll apply all this to deploy our Aviato project and make it available to our imaginary client. Let's get going. First of all, let's look at how we can manage our deployments. On your home tab, you'll be able to see all the deploy plans that you have available on the right sidebar. Additionally, if you go to the deploy plans on the left sidebar, you'll be able to see them with some more details. You'll be able to see information such as the project version, where it is deployed, the host name to which you can get access and see the admin dashboard, and finally some statistics. Here you'll also be able to delete, modify, or add new deployment plans. If you want to add a new deployment plan, you'll be able to define the name, the environment type, development, production, or for enterprise clients, pre-production. And finally, the deployment targets, the region of the deployment, and the host name, which can either be defined randomly or be connected to a custom domain. In here also, you'll be able to edit the plan settings that you currently have available and delete them. You'll also be able to access logs of this deployment plan over here. To monitor your application performance, you can go to the statistics dashboard, which can be found either on the left sidebar or directly by clicking the deployment plan you want to see it for in the deployment plan section. Here on the upper part, you'll be able to find application status, some configuration options, and the consumed resources of your application. If you surpass any of these limits, you'll be able to increase these resources by either upgrading to an upper plan or by purchasing more resource packs in the billing section. Here below, you'll also be able to find formal graphs, requests per minute, response time, storage input and output, and the network load. Keep in mind that the information for these graphs is only stored for the last 20 minutes of your application running. Our system automatically creates API documentation for your endpoints. To access it, you can go to the statistic dashboard and click over here, or go to the deployment plan section. On this page, you'll be able to find the information about all of your endpoints, the request types, the parameters that they need, together with the request body in JSON format, and all the possible responses that you may get from the server. You can also test it out directly here by inputting a sample request body and pressing execute. In case this process requires authorization, you can add it over here with the bearer token. Now, apart from the endpoints that you have for your data models and any of the modules that you have added, you also have one for your error moderators and some internal endpoints, such as getting the system status and the amount of used resources. Also, on the statistic dashboard, you'll be able to download the binary for your application, for example, to upload it to a third-party cloud provider or to download directly the source code. Keep in mind, however, that this option may not be available on your account, depending on what plan you have purchased. Let's now configure the deployment plans for our Aviato project. 
As you can see, we already have one configured for the development. Let's now create one for production. Choose production in the environment type. The deployment target will remain as the App Master Cloud. And let's say that the region that we want is US West. The host name will be assigned randomly in this case. And just like that, you have your second deployment plan ready to go. Whenever we will publish changes, we'll be able to choose if we do it to the development servers or to the production service. Each deployment plan will have its own host name and its own statistics. And here we are. We have come to the end of our course. Our app is ready to use. It was my utmost pleasure to accompany you in discovering all the features of the App Master platform. You can find more learning resources on the documentation section on our website and on our YouTube channel. The question now is, what will you create with the power of App Master. Happy no coding.